what's up friend Hector here from strongesthech.com. Going to be breaking down a little movement snack for you, if you will. So one of the most fundamental movements that we have uh, as an individual is the squat. Unfortunately, many of us don't squat so well because I mean, it could be for several reasons. I mean, you could have a hip injury, you could have a hip replacement, you can have, there could be several reasons why you don't squat well, okay? But one of the most common reasons is because as a society, we sit a lot now because of our jobs, careers, school, you name it. And then, you know, we try to get this whole fitness thing down and we start working out, but we go to a gym to where we're sitting in a machine and then we're kind of pushing and pulling on, you know, these levers. The thing is, the root cause of, of everything is, of the reason why we lose our squat most of the time is because we're sitting. So, I've talked to many people, many men, just many people in general, who avoid the mobility flexibility piece um, when it comes to exercise because they don't know what they're doing, they're afraid of making things worse, or they don't have time, so they just kind of leave it all out and they avoid it all together. So I'm gonna show you how to rebuild your squat really easy, even if you don't squat well at all. I'm gonna show you how to rebuild your squat with a very simple posture. It's basically, it's about all about posture. I'm gonna show you how to improve your posture in the squat, ultimately regaining your squat. So you don't have to do kinds of crazy hip mobility stuff. That stuff you can do, but if you're looking for the best bang for your buck, you're looking to mobilize your hips and you wanna regain your squat, you wanna actually learn how to squat and be comfortable in specific squatting positions. And from there, it's all about improving your posture, okay? So I'm gonna show you, all you're gonna need is you're gonna need one kind of heavy kettlebell, something that offers you a good counter balance, okay? And the goblet squat is a great exercise for this, but this is gonna be the goblet squat on a whole different level because you're not actually gonna be loaded. So one of the problems, again, one of the problems with just squatting in general is some people can't even accept load. Like just holding a weight sometimes is too much. So this is gonna be an unloaded version of the goblet squat and it's gonna give you all the benefits. The posture, it's gonna give you the counterbalance, it's gonna allow you to, again, sit deep in that squat, and I'm gonna show you how to mobilize, um, for one, your hips, and just how to improve your posture by learning how to sit in the squat position. And that's essentially step one when it comes to regaining your squat, all right? So I'm gonna dive right into it, and I'm gonna show you how to regain your squat. All right, here we go. So you're gonna be, again, all you need is one kettlebell, something that's kinda heavy that gives you a good counter. If you don't have a really heavy bell, you can use two. Um, this I'm using is a 32 kilo. This gives me the, ex the exact amount of counterbalance that I need to be able to sit comfortably in a squat. And so one thing that we're gonna be doing is covering different positions with our feet. So everybody's hips are different. There's not one specific foot position that you should be able to get into. Um, so I'm just gonna show you a couple of different ones and how to mobilize like in that position. Again, just by getting good at the posture. And then uh, I'm gonna show you like some body weight stuff. So some of this stuff you may have already seen. It's very, um, when it's very easy to do and it's gonna allow you to work on rebuilding um, your, your squat without being loaded. So the first one is a very simple um, posterior rock, okay? So having your feet, your toes tucked underneath, your hands more or less under your shoulders and your chest up, you're just gonna focus on rocking back and forth, okay? This is step one. So learning how to rock back and forth, very simple. The next one is just holding this position just like so and just breathing, okay? Breathing in through the nose, out through the nose, keeping your tongue on the roof of your mouth, and just breathing here, like five to 10 breaths, okay? Then you can go through some head nods if you want to, not required, but you can go through some head nods if you want, okay? And so if you look at this position that I'm in, it's pretty much a squat, but without being loaded, okay? So this is usually where we start, um, where I start all the students is learning how to basically get comfortable in this position. From there, we can start to progress to the squat. And I always start the squat from the bottom up and not the top down. I don't even teach 
a goblet squat, you know, something a simple goblet squat from the top down because that's not actually how we learn to squat. We learn to squat as a nine month old by crawling, finding a table, pushing down with our hands, and then standing up, right? That's actually how we first learn to squat. So that's the exact same sequence that we're going to do, but we're gonna use the belt, okay? So traditionally we would teach, you know, rocking, okay, here, then getting your feet underneath, okay? You get your feet underneath just like you would if you were a toddler, and then you'd lean the belt towards you, curl the belt to the rack, and then you're in a, pretty much you're in a goblet squat position, okay? But you may not be ready for that. You may not be ready to accept load at all, okay? So what we're gonna do now is we're actually gonna use the belt just as a counterweight, and we're gonna focus on improving our postural muscles, so the muscles that are on our back. So again, because we sit a lot nowadays, all the muscles on our upper back, which are responsible for our posture, are becoming weak. All the muscles in the front of our body, because we're flexed, are becoming tight. And now we have this imbalance and um, we're having a problem squatting, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna work on waking up those muscles while sitting in the squat. And we're gonna do it from a few different positions, okay? So all you're gonna do is you're gonna hold your bell, Okay, and you're gonna find your optimal squat position. So for me, we're gonna start, let's just say about like hip width, okay? Feet slightly turned out, okay? From here, you're gonna hold the bell with your hands, okay? And you're gonna squat just like this. And what the bell is gonna do is the bell's gonna give you a counter. So if you feel like you're falling back, you're just gonna hold on to the bell and you're gonna sit up as upright as you can. Now. From this position, we want to get good at just sitting here in this position, okay? From here, we want to keep our head up, and you're going to tuck, almost like you're giving yourself like a double chin, you're going to tuck your neck back just like this. The moment that you do that, you're going to feel all the muscles of your upper back, you're going to feel those turn on, okay? So from this position, it's not enough that we're here just like this, okay? The next thing that we need to do is we need to pack our neck back like this. Okay, so from here, if I just hold this way right here, okay? From here, I pack my neck back versus being here, okay? Pack my neck back. The moment that you do that, you're gonna feel all of the, these are what are called extensor muscles. You're gonna feel all those extensor muscles that are responsible for your posture, they're all gonna light up, okay? So, postural muscles. Okay. You can add some head nods in there if you want to, if you're familiar with the ground force method or, or original strength systems. From here, you can, you can add some head nods. That's definitely gonna get, that's definitely gonna get to work on the vestibular, but that's also gonna get those core muscles activated, okay? The next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna progress to adjusting our feet. So the closer that your feet come together, the more mobility we're gonna work on with our ankles. So ankles are a big piece of being able to sit into a deep squat, okay? Calves may be really tight, and maybe we just have some restriction. But we need to be able to actually kind of like mobilize the ankle out this way, okay? Laterally this way, all right? We don't want our knees to go in this way. We want our knees to track out this way. Okay, and we're just gonna play around with some different angles there. And all we're gonna do is I'm gonna bring my feet closer together, okay? And have them kinda straight, okay? Have them kinda straight. From there, you're gonna sit into a deep squat. Now what's gonna happen is, is my arms are gonna go on the outside of my legs, okay? Hold on to the bell. You're gonna squat straight down and your hands are gonna go outside your legs and you're gonna sit up tall just like this, right? We don't wanna slouch for right now. When you're in a body weight squat, it's okay to slouch because you're not loaded. What we're trying to work on here is we're trying to work on those posture muscles. So from here, you're gonna lift your chest up. So you see my posture change, lift my chest up and pack my neck back. And from here, all you're gonna do is breathe. Okay. 
one to two minutes or so. If you want, you can throw in some head nods. That's definitely going to stimulate the um, all those upper back muscles, all right? And then the next one is literally having your feet close together, okay? You're gonna bring your feet close together, all right? Knees come together. You're gonna use the same bell, and now you're gonna sit back. So if you're familiar, or if you've seen like a pistol squat, this is gonna look a lot like a pistol squat, except I've got both feet down. I can keep my posture up, chest up, neck pack back, focus on breathing. You can use your head nods, okay? And this just gives you the perfect counterbalance, okay? So by bringing your feet in closer and you squat, it allows your legs to externally rotate a little bit and sit in between your legs, okay? Versus kind of internally rotating. But when you bring your feet together, they're gonna to kind of stop each other. But from here, this allows you to sit all the way down rock bottom and focus on actually regaining the squat by actually learning how to sit in the bottom of the squat. And that's where a lot of people have a challenge because they lack the stability to sit into a squat and not fall down. That's where the goblet squat comes in. Squat for the people, right? But sometimes people aren't ready to accept the load yet. So this is a way to work on the squat without being loaded with an external weight, okay? And then using it this way. If you're still not even ready to do that, that's where you would regress to like the posterior rocking, um, dead bugs, that type stuff, which we've, I've got on other videos. Um, those would be your other regressions. But for this one here, you'll start with your feet about hip width, just to recap and then you're here, okay? Posture up, and then you're working on your head movements, okay? The big key here is breathing while you're in these positions. Then we work on bringing our feet close together. Our feet will naturally be a little bit straighter. This time the arms are on the outside of the bell, holding, sitting in the squat, and then here. Working on your head movements, but just working on breathing in this position while holding here, because a lot of the time, for many people, it's hard getting in that squat simply because they lack the stability in the upper back and all those postural muscles to be able to sit in that squat without falling backwards, okay? This is gonna improve all your kettlebell lifts, obviously your front squat, all of those are gonna improve leaps and bounds because you move so much better, all right? so. Put that into action. If you have any questions or comments, drop something in the comments section below. Um, and that's pretty much all I got for you. Hector with strongesthec.com with this week's Movement Monday for the week.